Okay, so you don't have chirp or maybe you're out in the field and you found a repeater that you want to program into your Baofeng 5RM. Let me show you how to do that. Alright, so here we go. So let's program in this repeater. First thing you're going to do is go to VFO mode. And I already have the frequency here that I wanted. You probably saw it a second go on channel 3, but we're going to delete it and start over so I can show you. So we're in VFO mode. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit your green button to go to your menu. And we're going to go to uh, memory bank, sorry, not 29. You're going to want to go to 31. We're going to clear the previous data here. So hit green. That's flashing. Push green again. We've now erased channel 3. Press the red button here to exit your menu. All right. So the first thing we're going to start with is putting in the RX frequency, your receive frequency, which is uh, 444075. Go into your menu, green button, and you want to go to option, I believe it is 10. My mistake, it is option 12. Option 12. Hit the green button. You find your transmit CT CSS tone. For this one, it is the 103.5. Press green again. That is now saved at 444.075 with this tone. We're now going to go to option 31. Option 30. I always get those last ones confused. Option 30. Hit your green button. And now we're going to scroll down because I want it on channel 3. Channel 3, press green. 444.075 with that tone of 103.5 is now saved in channel 3. Press your red button to exit your menu. Now, your tone and the receive frequency is here. To now put in your transmit frequency, what you're going to do is you're going to now enter in the transmit frequency here on your VFO which is 5 megahertz up, which is going to be 449075. Now all we're going to do is press your green button again to enter your menu. We're going to save again on the same channel. There's your TX. We're going to save it on that channel. It's now saved. Press red to exit. In VFO mode, so let's go to memory mode now. There you go. As we can see on channel three, we're starting out at 444.075 with a positive offset because remember, we programmed in a transmit of 449.075 and we already selected the tone from the menu when we saved it the first time. Okay, now to show that it is in there properly, I will go ahead and do a transmission. The repeater is probably not going to pick me up because I'm inside the house, but we will try it. Let's see. Kilo India 5, Quebec, November, Juliet. Radio check. Kilo India 5, Quebec, November, Juliet. Radio check. And there we go. Hit it. Again, no, it, it, you can hit the repeater, but being on an HT, this 70 centimeter usually can't, no one could usually hear me very well inside the, sh inside the house. So um, probably no one heard that. And I did do a radio check, but uh, I don't get anything here in a second. I bet you no one's on or no one heard me. So um, anyway, guys, there you go. Very simple on how to do that. Putting in your programming for a repeater manually. Again, this is um, on a Baofeng 5RM. And you do exactly what I just showed you there. You actually do not mess with the shift direction or the actual offsets um, uh, frequency, like megahertz. You don't mess with like 0 0.600 for two meters and you don't mess with the five megahertz for 70 centimeters via the channel. If you can recall on older Baofeng, especially your UV5Rs, there's a way that you would just set all that information in through the menu, push save, and there you go. It's a one-time kind of a clunky way to put it in all through a menu. And you save it to one channel and boom, there it is.
This way is a bit confusing, uh, but I have noticed with these newer ones, again, especially the 5RM, the AR152 as well, what I call Big Bertha, you have to do it this way, where you're just putting in the TX and Tone, save, going back and manually putting in the, um, make sure I said that right, you're putting in the receive tone with the, you're putting in the receive frequency with the transmits CTCSS tone. Also, you would put in the receive CTCSS tone if your repeater has one at that time. Save it. And then you're putting in the transmit frequency back on the same uh, memory channel to program it in. So as you can see, there's my 70 centimeter and my two meter simplex. And that's like my local club's repeater. That's the highest tower in the area. And that's the one we just did. And the little H means it's on high power. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you did, share it out there to others. And always remember, always begin ready. We'll catch you around next time.